Hi guys, I'm Sheridan with Christians Do Yoga, and today we're gonna to be talking about the float to the front of your mat. So go ahead, roll out your mat, and let's get started. So hopefully you guys are pretty warmed up. You can always pause the video, practice a few Sun Sal A's and a few Sun Sal B's to warm up the body. And so just allow yourself a few moments to do so. We're gonna get started in tabletop pose today. So go ahead, allow yourself to come onto your mat. And we'll start with the shoulders over the wrist and the knees directly underneath the hips, pressing into the tops of the feet. So we're gonna warm up the spine here with cat cow. So allow yourself to inhale, drop the belly, and reach the heart forward, and then reach the sit bones away from the rib cage. And as you exhale, draw the chin to the chest. And instead of coming into a normal cat, we're gonna lift the center of the palms, come up to your fingertips, just so you can get that nice stretch of the forearms and the wrist and in between the shoulder blades. Now inhale, drop your palms, reach the heart forward. And then exhale to once again, round your spine. If you like that stretch, you can always come back up onto the fingertips. Keep your palms dropped. And go ahead, one more inhale, drop the belly, reach the heart forward. And exhale to round your spine. And then inhale to a neutral spine. So from here, you're gonna tuck your toes and you're gonna lift your knees to a hover. So this is crouching cat. You're getting that nice buoyancy of the hips and allowing yourself to send some weight into the fingertips. So as I'm here, I'm draining the weight to the fingertips and I'm seeing my fingertips turn white. So as you're here, navel is drawing in towards the spine. And as you're beginning to drain your weight to your fingertips, you'll notice yourself that that's gonna be your break. Whenever you drain yourself forward, you're allowing yourself to implement weight into the hands, taking pressure off of the wrist and off of the forearms. So as you're here, drain the weight forward, put the weight into the fingertips, and then inhale, I want you to try to drop your belly, reach your heart forward, and then as you exhale, round the spine here. So you're beginning to learn how to shift your weight into your hands. Inhale, drop the belly, reach the heart, and last one to round your spine. Inhale to your neutral spine, and then exhale, send the hips up and back for downward facing dog. So as you're here, small bend into your knees. Allow a few breaths to come into the nose and find yourself pressing away the earth beneath you with your hands. Notice your sit bones lifting up high, and I like to lift my heels here just so I can have that little tiny buoyancy in the knees. And allow yourself to close your eyes, three deep breaths. And on your next inhale, I want you to try to lift your heels. Come up high onto the tippy toes. Exhale, bend your knees and then gaze forward. What we're gonna do here first is we're gonna tiptoe all the way up to the front of the mat. I want you to see how long that you can take to get up to the front of your mat using the tippy toes. Once you get up to the front, inhale for your flat back and then exhale to fold. Inhale to rise up to standing, palms reach up. And then exhale your hands down to your heart. So do that again, inhale, reach your palms up and exhale to fold forward. Inhale to halfway lift. And exhale to fold forward. And I just want you to step back to plank. From here, you're gonna drop your knees down to your mat, coming into tabletop pose. And I want you to try to shift your shoulders over the fingertips. As you're here, you're gonna notice once again that your fingertips begin to turn white. Those are your brakes engaging. So as yourself and you're trying to float forward, you're gonna notice the weight be distributed into the fingertips. So send the shoulders over the wrist and then send the shoulders back over. So just allow yourself a few breaths here, sending the arms forward and then sending the shoulders back. You'll begin to notice the stretch of the forearm. 
which is so important whenever you begin to float forward. So we're kind of doing a full body work here. We're starting ground up with the hands. And then from here, go ahead and turn your hands out to the sides of your mat. I want you to keep rooting down through your fingertips, but mostly the thumb and the pinky. We're going to shift our weight sides to side. And then as you shift your weight side to side, you'll once again notice the fingertips turning white. Those are once again your brakes turning on. So when I say brakes, I mean yourself and your energy pushing forward or side to side. That brake is going to be able to stop your weight as you shift yourself forward. Oftentimes, people are so nervous to float to the front of their mat because they're afraid to go all the way over. So go ahead, turn your palms forward, tuck the toes, reach the hips up and back for down dog. So as you're here in down dog, turn on your brakes, press into your mat. Notice the length in your spine. Inhale to lift the heels. Exhale to bend your knees. And I just want you to try to tuck your knees into your chest here. It doesn't have to be a very big hop forward. I just want you to tuck the knees in, hop them back. Hop the knees in and hop it back. Turn on your brakes into the fingertips. Hop the knees in and back. Go ahead and I want you to try to do at least 10 of those, drawing the knees in towards the spine. Once you have mastered that area of your practice, you can begin to shift your hips up and back into downward facing dog. And we'll start with some L-shaped hops. So coming into a downward facing dog, you'll inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees and then gaze forward. Now, as we're here, we're going to straighten the legs. We're going to shoot our energy to the front of the mat, and the hips are going to lift over the wrist. So bend the knees, exhale everything, and then press up, and then back down. Keep yourself moving. Maybe you move back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, and then gaze forward, and then L-shape hop. So go ahead, allow yourself to maybe pause the video. Take a few hops with the L-shaped body. And then we're, from there, we're going to work on the L-shape dropping down. So after you have been able to take a few of those L-shaped hops, I want you to notice how your fingertips begin to feel. It is kind of scary to lift the hips up and over the wrist, being able to shoot yourself forward. But once you've kind of mastered that draining your weight to your fingertips, you'll be able to lift the hips up and then drop the toes in between the hands. That's going to be coming into your hop forward or float forward into your forward fold. So go ahead and make your way back to downward facing dog. So coming into downward facing dog, I want you to inhale, lift your heels. Now we're really going to focus on putting the toes in between the hands this time. As you exhale, bend your knees, gaze forward, turn on the brakes, exhale, and then L-shape hop to the front, lower the toes in between the hands, and inhale flat back, and then exhale to fold. Inhale, rise up to standing, palms reach up. And exhale your hands down to your heart. Now I do understand that most of the times, it's not necessarily always gonna be so graceful. It may be your feet kind of clunk to the front of your mat, Maybe your hips lift up and the feet drop super quick. Allow yourself to engage through the core as you hop. So as you begin to do your L-shaped hops to the front of your mat, rib cage engages. So imagine yourself stitching through the belly. So as you're pressing, the rib cage stitches. So as the rib cage stitches, the body is in the straightest form that it can be. Most times, the belly gives out and then the rib cage separates. That's where you begin to get that banana back, and allowing that weight to go forward into the shoulders, into the wrist. And then as you're beginning to hop forward, allow yourself that time and space to lift the hips and then slowly drop the feet. We're gonna try that a few more times, so make your way back to down dog. And then as you're here, just go ahead and give yourself a few breaths. And also noticing and not taking yourself too seriously, it can be a really big issue for allowing yourself to 
always have to have that judgmental train of thought, whether you feel like you're not doing it correctly. So tell yourself it's okay. You're exactly where you are meant to be in your practice. And that's the biggest part. It's called a practice for a reason. So inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees and then gaze forward. And then L, shape hop. And then toes drop down to the mat. Inhale, flap back. And exhale, fold. So allow yourself to relax the back of the head here. Shake it out side to side. And inhale, roll up to standing. Palms reach up and exhale, hands to heart. Let's just move through that flow. Inhale, palms reach up. And exhale to fold. Inhale to halfway lift. And instead of moving through a vinyasa, we're just going to plant the palms, step back to plank, and then press the hips up and back. We're just going to keep working on those L-shaped hops. Inhale, heels lift. And then exhale, knees bend, gaze forward. Look at your thumb and pinky, press into the mat, and then hop it forward. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, your hands to heart. So most times what people begin to do is they put weight into their wrist. And that's where you begin to find that weakness is because there's no break on this side of the body. Once you begin to send your weight forward and you put weight onto the wrist, there's nothing back here that's going to keep you from falling back. If you put your weight over into the front of the body, into the hands, those are going to allow you to grip into the mat and kind of balance out your body whenever you L-shape or float to the front of your mat. So from here, we're gonna to begin to do some wrist stretches. So go ahead, make your way into tabletop pose. As you make your way into tabletop pose, flip the tops of the wrist over and onto your mat. So you can see here that my elbows are beginning to face forward. So the inside of the elbow is reaching forward to the front of the mat, and the navel is drawn in. So I want you to take a few breaths here. We so often forget to stretch out the wrist. So whenever you're practicing inversions or practicing floats, making sure that you take care and then also stretching out of the wrist. So once again, sway side to side. And then from here, we're gonna flip the fingertips in towards the knees. As you flip the fingertips in towards the knees, root down through the fingertips. Keep the belly drawn in. If you need a bigger stretch here, you can send your sit bones back slightly. You're gonna find this pulling of the forearm. So go ahead, three deep breaths. Maybe you can lift your gaze forward. And then from here, slowly, Begin to unwind. Press your sit bones back to your heels, coming into hero's pose. So as you're here, you're gonna take your arms out nice and wide. And you're gonna turn your knuckles down towards the floor. You're gonna feel that stretch in the tops of your forearms instead of underneath. So take a few breaths here, pressing the knuckles down and in towards the floor. And after a few breaths, go ahead and flip the palms up and then I want you to try to press the knuckles down towards the floor again. And you can just keep moving down and then up. And go ahead and reach your palms up and overhead. And then exhale, just take your time to send the elbows out into cactus arm. As you're here, fingertips are facing up. Now, even though that we're not on the ground, I want you to turn on your brakes. Imagine that you're gripping down through the fingertips. You're gonna begin to engage through the biceps and you notice the shoulder blades shift down the back. So take a few breaths here. Try to breathe into your chest and allow yourself to just release anything, that, anything that's going on in the mind. I'm finding a deeper breath into the belly. And as you exhale, I want you to reach your palms forward. As you reach the palms forward, fingertips come to touch in front of the forehead. Chin draws into the chest. Find yourself pressing away with the shoulders. So as you find yourself pressing away, this is that same action as if you're in handstand. 
You're noticing that separation. You're pressing away. And then inhale, open up. Press your chest forward. And then exhale to release the palms by the side. So as you show up to your mat to practice the float to the front of your mat, whether it be showing up to your mat to practice inversions, handstands, forearm stands, arm balances, know that these take time. It's as you show up to your mat, you're allowing yourself to be vulnerable. It's a time to play. It's a time to have fun. It's a time to connect with yourself, with God, with everything that's around you just in this moment. So as you continue to practice, have grace, have peace with yourself, and remember to keep on going and keep pressing forward. And I just really, really appreciate you guys for being here with me today. It was an honor, and I hope to see you soon. Namaste. So you've rolled up your mat and you've taken care of your body, but are you taking care of your mind and your heart? In a season where I found myself completely overwhelmed and anxious with day-to-day -day life, I recognized that something was missing. And that something was daily routine and self-care and love. So over the next few months, I began to build new habits, a new routine, and some consistency that really brought life back into my heart, into my mind, and into my body. And I want to share that with you. Head on over to dailysoulcare.com and grab your free copy today. Does this lunge look good? That's my move. And then I can gangster dance too, like the stinky leg. Do you guys know the stinky leg? And if you are bum, then, then, and if you, no, no, okay. And we're gonna work, from there, we're going to work on the L-shape dropping down. I need a breath for a quick moment. After the few L-shape shops, after the few L-shape pops, I should say, stitch, stitches together together. I just choked on my own saliva. <laughs> he hears me. He knows. It's fine. And praise. And praise. Praise, 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 praise. <laughs>